Apocalypse Gaming. So another simple part of the build I can be getting on with at the minute is the lettering on the sign. It comes with enough letters to put harmonic down both sides, which is what they call it, the harmonic theatre. It also comes with all these other letters. It looks like you can definitely get theatre out of it and cinemas out of it. But I like the idea of the letters going all the way right down to the bottom and filling each gap. And theatre and cinemas is too short a word to fill every gap. So I'm going to stick with harmonic on both sides, which is the suggestion on the instructions. So when it comes to placing each letter, I can use the actual square that we see here. Now this time I don't want too much clean up because it will potentially make me move a letter. So I'm putting finer coats of glue on in the hope that I need to do less clean up. by putting the letters on at the minute it lets me walk away, let them dry before putting anything else together. And also a bit easier to do it in this lying down position. So, MD doing Halloween parties, MD dressing up as anything. Doesn't necessarily need to be on Halloween, but Halloween parties aren't always necessarily on Halloween night. MD, get anything special planned? Or did anything special? Like Halloween. It's one of my favourite holidays. He says not dressing up or anything. What we do every year though is we get a new decoration. Rather than buying a pumpkin which is then going to rot and go to waste, we add a new toy every year. Yes, this year, I'll get a wee video of it at some point, it was a clown in a cage which is motion activated. I've managed to scare every one of the grandparents to a lesser or greater extent with it, as we all ask them, Oh, do you like our new toy? Because we've had this up since long before Halloween. That baby didn't think it was going to be a Halloween decoration. <laughs> Cruelas. It's rather funky though. So that was our new addition this year. Oh, this eye is difficult to place because it's so narrow. Well, that went wrong because Somewhere, well not somewhere, I know exactly where, whilst doing the eye, um, I ran out of space on my memory card because I hadn't cleared down previous footage because I forgot. But that's us all done on that one. I'm not going to bother filming the other one because it's the exact same process and it's going to say the exact same word, harmonic. So, we'll come back when that's done.
So that's our three earlier builds complete. We have the main structure um, dried up with clamps off. The stairs I've got sitting in place, they aren't glued on because I want to paint them separate. And the roof the clamps have been taken off the roof as well and dropped in place. So now we're going to get the rest of this front fascia sorted. So the first thing I'm going to work on is this fascia that goes on here. Now this is really tight, so this is going to be fun. And there might be a little bit of cussing and swearing as I try to make this fit. So after recording it, I decided this bit of footage was far too long. So all I've did is speed it up times eight, just so we can get to the conclusion of it. Because listening to me ramble as I put on some white glue on the back of that was kind of boring. Cool, jobs are good, isn't it? Clamp some of these just so we get the nice tight fit at the top of each one and then clean up time. So just so that fascia flies, dries, not flies, dries flush, I've put some weight on it so I've just got some bottles of varnish and paint and ink sitting on it and then the clamps at the top and that should be enough weight to keep that central area down tight so again walk away and let it set I have a wee look this is going to be a nightmare to fit in this is supposed to be a pre-assembly section and um, my clamping's got everything so tight that there's about a mil and a half or so of that it's going to be fun to make fit but we'll make it fit so whilst this is drying, it's as good an opportunity as any for me to just to fit them, so be a bit of white glue on the back. Now whilst that setup's drying, that gives me an opportunity just to glue these two bits together. So again, just white glue on the back and clamp the two together. Now for painting purposes, jumping back to the words harmonic, I'm thinking it might be easier to leave that bit off paint it then attach it. That's where my thought process is leaning at the minute but it might just be an easier job if I can move it about. So it's probably what I'm going to do. So just another wee simple part of the build that I can get on with whilst I'm waiting on other components to dry. It's just a tiny wee bit of detail into one of the now showing signs. It's just the casing that goes round it. two of these to do. It's just a simple encasement that you see. So I'll do the other one and I'll get the glue cleaned off these as well. So then this is where the fun begins where I try to force feed basically the, the kit these next few parts because I had I probably tried to soldier on my build and fit everything in it would have fitted and it wouldn't have been an issue but by trying to keep everything lovely and tight and square I've created a rod from my own back basically so I need to try and squeeze this all together now probably the easiest way is to put it in force it down. Well that one went in a lot easier than I anticipated at least because it fell in the second dry fit earlier that was going to be a lot more difficult. The original dry fits as I went along it was cool but the clamps made it a bit more difficult so hopefully especially with the pressure of that one sitting down there this will go in a lot easier to go in than I was anticipating. So it's maybe not as much of a rod as I thought it was going to be and I've just completely over built the tension. For no real good reason. Yeah, that's what I've done. Hey ho. I'd rather that than it not work. So we're really very close to being done then with this build. Really close. 
force. It's a beautiful piece of scenery. And I've said it before and I'll say it again, in my humble opinion, at least in the range when it was launched, there's possibly a lot more in the range now, but at least in the range when it was launched, it was the standout piece that they had designed. It's gorgeous. So remember, I marked it right hand facing so I know it's this one. I don't think it'll make a difference, but just in case. So that's that bit too. Now this will cover the lug when it goes on. Dang! I need to get that in at the same time, don't I? I do, I do, I do! Oh, we're going to have problems. Sugar! And that's why instructions are the other way around. Well, this is going to be fun. Can I get that bit that I was really worried about back out? Oh, it's all going to go tits up. That's a helpful little bit at least. So I've got that. Need to now get these two. Wrong one. No, it's not, it's the right one. caught it again because I can't remember what the thing was earlier I made the mistake with. It was something it wasn't it was these. I nearly forgot about them too. So yeah at least it was caught in time before the glue had set and there was no way back.
different bit over that first. It's all gone horribly wrong. Right. Come back to that one. You're good on nicely. There we go. Okie dokie. Right, so it's all placed. Right, let's clean it up. I'm not going to glue these things. I want to paint them separate, but I'm going to slot them in once they've done my clean up. Apocalypse Gaming.